Chat, let's talk about it real quick, okay? Chat, let's talk about it. Let's let's actually talk about it. We'll watch this. We'll watch this after. But uh, let's let's talk about it. Where's my chat at? Did I exit out my chat? Chat, how do y'all feel? How do y'all feel? How, uh, do y'all think it's Travis Scott's fault? Like, do you blame? Do you think Travis Scott is the reason why eight people lost their life? Travis Scott is the reason eight people lost their life, and he deserves to uh, lose sponsorships. He deserves to lose deals. He deserves to lose his career. And I want you to answer, like, honestly, how you feel. You don't, like, gotta, you don't gotta agree with me. I don't give a fuck. You can, but, like, if you start disrespecting me, then I'm, you know, then I'm on your head. I'm black. I'm banning your ass. But if you disagree, if you disagree, um, let me know. Okay, so people are saying, no, they, I I'm seeing people say, no, he shouldn't, but I know there's people who are saying yes. For the people who are saying yes, he deserves to lose, he, he de hey, bro, his, his, uh, they took him out of Fortnite. They took him out of Fortnite. Um, I think right now, everybody just doesn't want to be around Travis Scott. Nobody wants nothing to do with Travis Scott. To the people that think, yes, this is Travis Scott's fault, he deserves to lose all his, uh, sponsorships, he deserves to get pulled off of Fortnite, he deserves, uh, to lose money, he should take responsibility for this. Um, why do y'all think that? What is your reasoning on why uh, you believe he deserves to lose all this uh, this stuff? Bro, he was doing the robot while the paramedics were on scene. Okay. He ignored the ambulance trying to get to the sick. Okay. He could have stopped the show. He should have stopped. So the main reason I see that people are blaming him and saying that his fault, that it's his fault is because uh, he kept performing when he should have stopped. He tweeted, we sold out, but the wild one's still getting in. Okay, so this is what I'm gonna say now. This this is what I'm this is what I'm gonna say in response to this, okay? In, in response to that, okay? The reason why you are like looking into that stuff and getting so mad about that stuff is because you know now that somebody eight people have lost their life. So now you're backtracking everything and seeing everything in a negative way now. You're seeing everything as a reason for why it happened. Artists, especially wild artists, always promote their shit like that or always do some crazy shit like, yo, where my wild people at? Yo, fuck security, man, we turning up. We da -da -da. They always do that because it gets, the, they're trying to get the crowd hype. They're trying to get the crowd live. They try to get the, the anticipation for the concert live. But now I understand, now hear me out. I understand why you say that because you look back and you see all the reasons of how it could have been prevented. But you don't realize this is always a thing. It's just, ex it just it's just really in your face now because eight people lost their life. So now you're seeing it as like, yo, all artists need to not do this. All artists should not say, yo, we sold out. But the wild one's still getting in. He should not, uh, there, there should no longer be mosh pits. There should not be people being like, yo, fuck, fuck that nigga, yeah, yeah, yeah. They should not do that, that's wrong. But chat, that has always been a thing. It's hype for a song, it, or it's hype for the concert. It gets the blood pumping and shit like that. So, I feel like on that part, as far as like that, you know, addressing that tweet, using that tweet is kind of not a good argument. Uh, another thing is stopping the show. Now, I don't know what the fuck he saw. I mean, y'all see ambulances and things like that. I don't know if y'all seen Michael Jackson's performances or shit like that, or like the behind the scenes. Bro, there were always fucking ambulances at his concerts, bro. There were always ambulances at his concerts, and people are saying he didn't stop the show, but then other people are saying he stopped the show multiple times, but was still continuing. So what is it, chat? Let's just address that. Did he stop the show once? Or did he never stop the show? Did he stop the show at least once? Or did he never stop the show when uh, people were passing out? Because apparently people keep saying that. 
I just want to know because it seems like a lot of y'all are just going off of what other people are saying without doing your own research, bro. He stopped the show. Pause, not stop. If you pause, if you if you pause something, you're stopping something. You're you're literally stopping. It's crazy how y'all switch. It's like it's crazy how when shit isn't if when the argument is not in your favor, like you start swaying shit, and that's what the media does. You start throwing in shit. Well, he didn't stop the show. More like a pause. And then now there's people that are speaking like they are actually him. He saw bodies. He actually saw them. He knew what was happening. Um, like I said, I don't give a fuck about Travis Scott and what the fuck he stands for. I don't own any of his clothes. I'm not sponsored by him. I've never been paid by his, uh, by him or his, uh, um, his, a, uh, uh, record label, whatever the fuck he's on, to, uh, react to his music. I'm not getting paid to say this. I'm just speaking how I honestly feel because I can see this fucking up. I can see this being a thing where other artists are going to get in trouble for shit. Um, this is a high magnitude because eight people lost their life. Uh, now, this is another thing I want to address because I can't seem to find anything about this. Was there actually people going around and drugging people in the crowd? Okay. Now, that's another thing. Is, is Travis Scott in the wrong for that? Should he take accountability for that too? Because, and, and, and this is another thing we need to know. Do the people that, first of all, the person that was going around drugging people, I don't even know what the fuck they were on. But the person that was going around drugging people, did they, were they a cause for like deaths? Or were the deaths not related to that? It was a separate thing. We don't know yet. Okay, so yeah, we have we have to wait for that because we can't say we can't say it was bro We can't blame you know, it was people drugging people. We can't blame Travis Scott It was literally the person in the crowd drugging people. We can't say that because it's that's just a whole another thing. That's just weird um, I Think they said it was a crowd rush. Okay, so do we know an exa exact reason for the cause of death for a, for a lot of them? I'm guessing they were passing out heat probably heat. Um, I don't know if they if niggas was fighting Cardiac arrest, suffocation. It caused a panic. People broke in. There was too many people. Okay. And now, and this is when this is when it comes to that, because we're going. I'm I'm hearing too many people. Basically, there was a lot of people, and then that's when it draws back to that initial tweet. Uh, show is already sold out, but the wild ones still getting in though. Da 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 da. You know, shit like that. At that, yo, at that point, it's the security, bro. You need better security. So many artists like fucking hype shit up like that, or like when niggas when niggas run up on stage, that's not a good thing. Where's the security there? But the the rapper or artist. Sometimes they get hyped. Sometimes they get pissed off. A lot of the wild ones that get hyped though, when niggas run up on stage, they they turn up with them and then they throw they push that nigga back in the fucking thing. I wonder what happens if they get hurt though. Do you cancel the artist? Do you cancel the artist because he pushed the nigga off stage or should he have helped them? Because well, I mean the nigga snuck up on stage. He's not even supposed to be up there. But that's a whole nother argument, bro. That's a whole nother argument. But um, back to the tweet. Look. Uh, I understand why the argument is being used that well he encouraged more, many more people to do it if he never made that tweet that would have never happened question does does playboy cardi has playboy cardi tweeted break through my break through the gates and come see my show break through security and come see my show yo my show is sold out i want y'all to just run and break things because there's no more tickets or because i'm here he hasn't he hasn't yet the fans are still doing it
why should he take full responsibility and get canceled and other is it because it's his show is it because it was at his concert nigga said he stopped and paused and and looked or whatever but what more is he what more did you want him to do his job is to perform this goes back to like another argument where uh it was like a baby that was uh dying or something uh it was the baby was overdosing on something and i said i hate when people just stand there and scream like bro go do something like why aren't you like why aren't you doing nothing mind you they're not performing or anything but but uh they're like family members they were standing there and they're like yo what the fuck da, da, da. they were in shock or whatever but i said i hate how people do that and people were replying to people saw that and got mad at me and said bro what were they supposed to do that's why the cop that's why they called the cops they can't do anything so why can't that same logic be used for travis scott he's a rapper what was he supposed to do go out there and like save their life like what what was he supposed to do he knows it, it's his, his he got ba paid to perform so he performed i don't know if this nigga was under drugs or, or like under the influence probably was but uh i'm not gonna lie if you look if you look at travis scott and expected him to be a savior or like this grand stand-up citizen you look too deep into these uh you look too deep into these celebrities i'm sorry stop the show we literally just had that argument you fucking dumbasses like are, are, that's why i brought up all these points i literally asked did he stop the show did he pause it y'all said he paused it he stopped it he should oh my god it's it's so hard to it's so hard to explain because yo chat um i'm trying to think of an example where people are passing out and it's like this 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 is what happens it happens at like rock concerts and shit like that but people pass out their body their bodies are literally passed out and then they're surfing through the crowd and the niggas rock even harder because that is the that's the show that's what's supposed to happen this is what this is how it's supposed to be that's called getting lit so like travis scott seems like he, he's trying to be in that type of that type of realm or some shit but um he probably saw that shit and was like, yeah, this shit's lit. Ambulance, yo, what the fuck is that? This shit lit, da da da. He's not sitting there thinking someone actually died, bruh. And you, there's no way you can know that either. There's no way you can say, he knew, he, he knew somebody died. But like I said, bro, but like I said, there are people who are mad about it. And, you know, it's whatever, bro. Y'all are mad, but I don't want to hear y'all. I don't want to see y'all listening to no Travis Scott. That's why I said M M Michael Jackson's crowds did the same thing. I, I said that. But people just, I guess, I guess people want to, I guess people want to be mad at Travis Scott. Like I said, I don't care either way. Dante, this ain't it. And it won't be. But I want you to keep that same energy, bro. Like, I feel like niggas are just doing things. Be I feel like niggas are just blaming people. Putting death on, on, on a person, on a person. Uh wrong for the wrong wrongfully so i'm sorry um i i just think uh someone said you're defending travis buddy because you're in the music scene this 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 is the mind this is the mindset of an absolute idiot i speak my opinion and you say i'm just this is like this is why this is a hard job this is why it's a hard job and this is why it's hard it's even harder to speak how you really feel about shit it's easier to just shut the fuck up and let everybody let let everybody say what they say and say i have no opinion but i'm not like that if i have an opinion i'm gonna say how it feels whether you like it or not and whether you try to put your assumption on me this is the dumbest thing i've ever heard but if that's how you feel bro that's how you feel i, I don't care um I literally preference all this saying I don't give a fuck about, you know, Travis Scott or whatever, but like, I just feel like this, what's happening now, he's getting sued. I think they're at, they added Drake getting sued. This can lead to other things. People can see this as an opportunity to sue more people uh, and, and get money and, and for, for like the most minute reasons, bro. I don't know. It's, it's kind of weird, bro. It's kind of weird. Um... 
I don't know, bro. Why is Drake getting sued? I mean, why didn't he go out there and stop the show? Why didn't he go out there and take the mic, you know? Why didn't Drake take take the mic and tell them to stop? Uh, uh chat, I, you know? I don't know, man. Like I said, I don't care. I really don't care, and I know people are going to be mad at what I got to say. Uh... At the end of the day, it is what it is. That was my opinion. Um, if you got your own opinion on me and why why I feel that way, you want your own, you got your own little suspicion, then I don't care. I post this on YouTube, and I'm sure the niggas on in the comments are gonna get mad, and the dislikes are gonna be high. Uh, but I, it's whatever, bro. I just want to. I we're gonna see how this all pans out. Like I said, uh, I don't care. I don't care what happens. I don't care if he goes to jail for this, like, or if he if he gets charged with murder. Um, but I just haven't. I just had an opinion because you know Loyalty. he's getting sued. He's losing all of his deals, his sponsorships, and things like that. And people are pinning these eight deaths on him. He's solely responsible for it, and nobody else. And uh, that's that's how I feel about it. Anyway. Watch the watch the Travis Scott apology video. No, fuck Travis Scott. I don't give a fuck about none of this. But I have an opinion on uh on uh this mentality of blaming uh somebody just because they're the most famous person. Uh, so yeah. Wait, what'd you say? Uh, there's a responsibility chain. The venue is at the top of the chain, so you have to look at it as if the top of the chain planned and organized. Uh, right. Uh, the Travis blame wouldn't be there, so it's not fair to say Travis organized. Right, the Travis blame would. I'm sorry. What this 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 was all over the place. I think I I think I understood what you're saying. Then I got I think not. The people around me happy. Um. The the situation is irrelevant to the stream in your business. You're right, but well, not to the business part. Maybe maybe it's irrelevant to this like to the stream to the stream, but to the business part, you know, I do like talk about music, so I know people want my opinion, and you know, I'm pretty sure they did not fucking like my opinion. Uh, and I understand. I understand. People probably think uh, I was gonna ride the train of, yo. Uh, Travis Scott should lose everything, all his sponsors and things like that, because he should have uh, saved everybody's life or something like that. But uh, this reminds me of when Miley Cyrus fans were getting trampled by Cardi fans. Uh, finally, someone with a working brain. Thank you, Dante. No, this like it's like I under I, I'm trying to understand both sides, but. It's like the cancel culture part for this specific thing. I just can't. I, I can't see it. And the main thing people are saying is because he didn't stop the show. And I'm going off of specifically you see ambulances and people passing out and you're still performing. But this happens at shows if you really be, if you've been to like crazy, crazy ass shows. Uh, this happens at shows all the time. Um, man, you know, it's just a tough thing. It's just a gray area. Uh, it's just a, it's just a lot of, you know, a lot of shit. And now we're seeing videos of people before they're starting their performances saying, yo guys, everybody be careful. Everybody be safe. And then we're seeing posts of this is this person stopping the show. They're stopping the show saying, yo, are you good? Okay. And then they go back to performing and we're seeing all that. And I just think it's funny how like he's literally, he's getting, he's getting dragged. He's getting fucking dragged for this shit uh, and, and losing all of his shit. But uh, it's okay. I understand. I understand, bro. Uh, I understand. Anyway, shit. It ain't my career, bro. See, a nigga like me, I would, you know, I would have stopped the show. I'm like, wait, 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 cut the music, cut the music, cut the music. Is he good? He's good? All right, let's get it. SAP Jacket, they laughing at fashion, there's nothing to like. SAP Jacket, they laughing at fashion, there's nothing to be liking. All right, let's, 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 let's move on, bro.